11 million times people have played this video from TikTok about her her, her, her stance, her perspective on returning your shopping cart to the cart corral in a parking lot. My buddy uh, was talking about this yesterday in uh, Florida on his show, and uh, it's like 50-50. Uh, they're split. Agreeing so, with her or disagreeing with yeah, her. We played the audio yeah. real quick. It's Here's the audio, seconds. and I was saying, I agree with this. Here's what she said. I'm not returning my shopping cart, and you can judge me all you want. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. So if you're going to give me a dirty look, <laughs> off. <laughs> unless, it, if you have kids in car harsh. seats, unless you parked right next to the cart corral... I did it too many times when they were in car seats where I felt uncomfortable to walk away from the car when they were in there that I was like, nope, I'll just put tuck it in a corner somewhere, jump in my car, and get the heck out of there. Now they're older, I do it. But what, kids what in car seats baby, is a whole different... What if that's a baby in there? You go get your cart. You get a, Someone takes you or something happens to you. The you baby is stuck, the baby's in, the stuck in, in, in the car in a car seat. Yeah. You're you supposed to turn your car on. You the baby in the cart and you put everything in it and then... Like, you put all your groceries in the car, mm -hmm. and then you take your baby with you mm -hmm. to yeah. return them with the shopping cart, and then you grab your kid, and you take them to the car. Not Ooh, always. If you have more than one you. kid, Sam. That's what you do. If you have more than one kid, yeah, well, that's, then, that doesn't work. Well, you that's a you problem. One, <laughs> and, then you, <laughs> that's and then you have the other one walk. No, it doesn't work. Now, the flip you're side gonna is. You put your kids in the car after you put your groceries in the car. And, yes, people say, well, you're not leaving them in a hot car. God forbid you're leaving them in a hot car. Don't be a bozo. If you're going to return the car, no, just turn the car not. on and have it running. But still, in this heat, the car is not cool enough yet. So what you're going to have to do then is you get your kid in the cart. You have to open your door, sit down, start the car. Yep. Your kid's exposed. Yeah. It's just a lot away. of exposure. <laughs> the cart I'm like, starts going down. The car, just tuck it somewhere where it's not going to roll in somebody's car and get the heck out I of I wish there. we could ask which is hard to do store sometimes. people if that really bothers them. Like. Because when right. I was that kid and I did cart duty, I loved cart duty. I'd go out there. It was the best gig. It got me away from inside to the store. To your point, yeah. Ryan, to your point, somebody texted, as my mom would say, I'm keeping someone in a job ah. by leaving the yeah. cart outside like, of the I corral. Love oh cart duty. It was awesome. And now they have these contraptions where they can get like 40 carts on this little tram. You ever see the, the Costco cart guy? Oh, uh, yeah. And girl, they, they got like they 50 of them of together. Carts. They're so heavy. And they have a yeah. leash. Sometimes they have that leash at yeah, the front. They're yeah. like, oh, yes, no. but yeah. You know that was a you know, I want to see, see parking lot cam videos of the cart leash gone wrong. Like, not as seasoned of a cart corraler. And they're like, oh, no! And they're going the wrong direction. They can't stop those 50 carts. Yeah, look up cart narcs if you want some fun. Cart, cart narcs. narcs? Cart narcs. By With a C or a buddy, radio buddy. N-A-R-C-S? N-A-R-C-S. Okay. He's get, he has millions of views. Mm -hmm. and he makes a lot of money off it. He just, he goes and confronts people all over the country oh and the world. God. He's got so stickers and he throws, carts? he has a magnet. Says like cart narcs, and they'll throw it on your car, and they <laughs> wait, and they start cussing at him and yelling at him. I know. And it, Keep it's, it his name's car. Sebastian. People he's on get the Woody just show. so bent out of shape about these but things. Watch though. that; you'll see these people just yelling because he's like, woo, 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 made that noise. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sir, you need to put that back. And Another nice. person just texted, yeah. "Yeah, no, I don't return the cart if I have my kids." Another person said, "Has anyone not thought to park next to the cart return area? Um, how oh, often is that spot open?" Yeah. How well, is that spot open? Then park further down in the in the parking lot. You know where they are. Which, the open the ones. which is even further from maybe a cart corral. Again, point proving the point. You do not take the time to walk away from your children locked in car seats to go return the. No, cart. I'm saying like they have the they have the cart um, bin further out in the parking lot. There's a couple of them. Yeah. You know, and then there's empty spots. And where... you're also not a woman with babies, and you don't want to be that far away from public doors. But how about a woman with no babies? Is it? <laughs> They have to put the carts away, right? I, yeah, if you're not with your kids and you don't, and okay. your kids are big That's enough to get themselves, mm. you put That'll your cart away. Thing. I'm a woman and I can't. No, no, I could be. Oh, a you should put and your you cart, away. cart away. I don't know why this conversation. It makes me so mad. Why does it you make you mad? I mean, the that's why I'm just not, not talking. Away. That's why I can't talk. Why, go ahead. Come on. No, mad I'm not. Sam. I don't want to get mad. What side are you on? I'm not on your side. Yeah, you want to put the cart away, no matter what. So you have Santiago in the cart. You're yes. going to push him to the cart corral. Yes, and I'm going to carry him. out and walk him back. Yes. Okay, when you have your second kid, you get back to me on I'm that. I'm still going to do it. No, because I just find it so disrespectful to not put the cart away. You went and picked it up. You should put it back. It does suck trying to pull in. You see a spot, you're like, yes. You can't And then get there's in. a cart. Yeah. Or but a like motorcycle. I said, that's why I don't want to talk about it because I just, I do not see your view on this. And mm. normally I'm very like mellow and I can see, but for some reason I just, I hey, cannot. you're entitled. I know, but I don't like being that opinion. way. Like I like to be very neutral and understand Does both sides. Does this lady sides. have stats about? She does. She came back the next day because 
started right. getting, she's getting she's like six million views and this into just this, supports what Rula is saying why she doesn't agree to put the card back so I understand it but for some reason I just let me hear what you're saying <laughs> what you, you know what I mean I can't guys last year 265 children were abducted in parking lots in America half of those were sexually assaulted in many states it's actually illegal to turn your car on and walk away many comments said that they would turn the car on leave the air on for the kids and go return the shopping cart there are reports from the Bureau of Justice saying 10% of crimes occur in parking lots if you get to a parking lot, you should look at the lighting. You should look at security guards. You should look at how the parking lot is laid out. If it feels safe, go return your cart. If it doesn't feel safe, trust your gut, trust your intuition, and keep you and your family safe. It's not worth the judgment you'll get. Whatever, yeah. you're being lazy. Not lazy. <laughs> not lazy. Not lazy. Not lazy. It's laziness. Then do the, it, then she if did you, a Google search. Don't bring your kids shopping then. Oh, really? Do, do Who's going to watch your kid while you go shopping, well, Eric? That, that's your curbside. problem. Curbside. Curbside. Yeah. 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 Instacart. Now we have curbside. Yeah. Right. Instacart. Yeah. Yeah. No, Instacart costs y'all. a lot of money because oh. the delivery fees and stuff. How about the money costs when my car gets dinged because your car is just out there in the wild, wild west parking lot. Just yeah, and you bam, say, smash. oh, I'm going to set it somewhere where it's not going to bang any car. Well, it's been a little bit windy here in yes. Houston, and oh, those cars yeah. are going to come just at me. Two right? days ago, I was at that big H-E-B on Bunker Hill, and I saw a straight car. It's going? And there was, it was just flying away, and this woman saw me come. I mean, I guess she freaked out. She thought I was charging her car. I was racing to stop that cart from slamming into her car. Yeah, you're trying I, to help I was her. just like, hey, I'm just trying to help you She here. pulls out a gun. <laughs> but yeah, speaking no of helping, if you do see a woman with a bunch of kids or with who is, might be struggling with one, it's okay to offer her help oh. and say, hey, Hell no. let me go ahead and take that cart for you. I'm putting mine back. Kevin, I'll take yours as well. People freak out when you invade I'm the afraid personal to get, space. Yeah, I'm afraid to go up to someone. If you well, offer to take my cart back, that's super sweet. Hey, then, I'd greatly appreciate that. But they that. got their back turned, you know, because you always hear women get attacked. Well, you have to come Right at them with, like, with the fact, or else she's going to think you're going to mug her. Hey, ma'am, would you like me to take your cart back? And that's that's, a, no, that's a pretty baby. You, you say, let me take your just, cart back for woman? you so you don't have to walk hey, back. Just say, woman? let me take your cart back. Yeah. That's what I was just saying. Like, literally, I was trying to do her a favor to keep her car from getting smashed into, and it wasn't my cart. It was some stray cart I saw. It was just, it was windy, and it was blowing right That's why Aldi cart. knows what they're doing with that coin. Hear ye, hear ye. The first court of 2021 in session. <laughs> I guess the Honorable nice. Judge Rula, Ryan, and Eric. Couples court is uh, something that you want to be a part of if you're bickering with your mate over the same thing over and over, and that disagreement never dies. Bring it to us at krbe.com is where you contact us, and that's where we can get you both on the phone to find out what you're fighting about. So let's welcome Oscar and Kelly to the show. Good morning, guys. Morning. Hey. Hey, hey guys. Kelly. Hi, Oscar. So, Kelly is the one that messaged us. We're going to let you take the stand first in couples court. What's the deal? Oscar's brother cheated on his wife, and it also happens to be one of my best friends. So it's been really difficult. Are they are they done or are they working through the cheat? No, it's a pretty hostile environment. They're definitely splitting up, which brings me to the issue that Oscar and I are dealing with is Oscar wants to let his brother stay with us while he's going through his divorce and figuring stuff out. And I said, absolutely not. He's married to my best friend and broke her heart. I do not want him in this house. But that's his brother. I mean, and, and I don't think he's saying stay there forever. Or is he? I don't know. Oscar, how long is your brother supposed to stay there? I get it. I mean, I'm not defending my brother at all. And I don't want him to stay with us for that long. I mean, I, I, I don't expect it to be more than six months at the most, but... Oh, six months? That's a long time, buddy. I mean, is he an adult? He, he can't have his own place? Well, the problem is, part of the tension with him and his wife was they have some financial trouble, so he doesn't really have the money right now just to get his own place, and I'm his only brother. I'm his only sibling. I mean, I'm not just going to turn my back on him. He's been there for me in the past when I've had hard times. But I'm having a problem with the six months. I can understand if you want to help your brother out maybe a couple of weeks, but six Six months, that's going to wreck your marriage, Six months, dude. guys, will honestly bleed into a year. Oh, well, it's very much going to wreck our marriage. Uh-oh. How much of a space are we talking about here, Kelly and Oscar? I mean, you know, if you're living in like uh, 1,500 square feet and there's the two of you guys and then you throw in cheater brother in there, it's like,
like, I don't know, is it like two bedrooms and a bathroom and you're crossing each other's paths or do you have some sprawling Shangri-La palace where you can avoid him? Well, that's the thing is that, you know, we're saving up for our first home, so we're still in an apartment. So I'm like, there's oh, no way no. we're putting his brother in here. Come oh, on, oh, no. Oscar. How Oscar. is this a question? But we do have a spare room in that apartment. There is an extra room. You mean my office? Yeah, we're not doing oh. that. Oh, oh, no, dude. Oscar, you're not thinking this through very carefully. I'd say maybe for the weekend, let your brother stay on the couch. But six months, you got to be out of your mind. Kelly, have you talked to him? Can you even stand to look at him? I mean, if my best friend was hurt and cheated on like that, I would be so mad. I'm so mad. I'm a beyond pick. Not only do I not want to look at him, but it seems like we're picking sides. What am I supposed to do now? Not be able to see my best friend because... I now am okay. essentially harboring. <laughs> How about a compromise here, real quick? This should be so simple. I mean, give him a couple of days, let him uh, sleep on the couch a couple of days. But, dude, if he's hurting so bad financially, then, you know, slip him some money. Give him some money. Let him go stay in a hotel for a couple of weeks. What are you, crazy? Well, I'm not giving your brother any money to do. For what? Is there a reward for cheating on his wife? Like, absolutely not. Kelly, you don't want to give money? That's fine. I've got my own money saved up. I can help him out. I think that's actually a pretty I, good idea. What do you mean you have your own money? Sa- we have a joint account. Well, I've set some money aside for emergency situations like this. I'm going to have to dip into that money and help them out. I think you're going to have to dip into that money for your own place. Eric, I think I know what you're thinking. I think Kelly needs to move in. Yeah, Kelly, move in with your friend, and then he can move in there with your husband. Yeah. That sounds fine with me. Do you know how much I would rather live with a no, woman? No, this is than... terrible. We oh, no, came here is... to help a couple. We're oh. joking, okay? You guys need to just, like, Oscar, I'm sorry he's your brother. you got to say no. This is going to wreck my marriage. You cannot do this. I'm do you sorry, parents? brother. Do you have parents that he could stay with? You said they, you have no siblings. I don't understand why he can't stay with your mom. I've already told you, Kelly. He cannot. They do not get along. They have a terrible relationship. It's it's not going to okay, work out. You don't want to get along with your wife then? <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree with Rula. Guys, I think we can make our ruling right now. Yeah, pretty mean, simple. It's really If simple. you want to save your marriage, Oscar, you cannot have your brother come live with you, dude. Six months in your apartment that you guys share where you want him to infringe on Kelly's office space where she's working? That's hey, nuts. Hell no. There's no harmony in that house. This is uh, what I'm saying. All right. Well, you know what? You agreed to abide by our ruling. Our ruling is... No to the brother. Let's see what I can do. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. Yo, I know how it's going to go. Yes. I mean, we're just trying to help, help you out, you. Oscar. We're trying to help you out and help Kelly out. Yes, we sided with her, but we're doing it for the greater good of you guys as a couple. I mean, I'm telling you, your brother will be your brother. He'll understand that he can't compromise your marriage. Go to mom's or figure it out. Do not give him money on the side. Uh, if you want to keep your wife, you won't. No, no, no. Dude, you yeah. shouldn't even have a slush fund. I mean, that's not Ooh. a good idea. All well, right, now uh, the antennas are up, guys. She's not going to trust what he's doing with his extra cash. I don't know. As judges, did we make this worse? I think we did. <laughs> well, actually, Sorry. we didn't. He's making it worse because <laughs> no. our options were limited, Eric. Our options were limited. That is true. But how about this? His mom, the the, the argument is, Mom, do you want to have two divorced sons? Yeah. I need to stay with you so we can keep exactly. Oscar married to Kelly. There you go. Where's the gavel? <laughs> good luck, guys. Thanks for listening to the show. and. One in four people keep secrets from their live-in partner, That's according bad. to Swans. What's Swans? Hey, what, Swans? Hey, what is it? Let me Google it. S W N S. I just call it Swans. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that a short for something? That's the source. Southwest News Service. In a service? new survey, according to Swans. It's a band. <laughs> I'm looking at Swans. Anyway, uh, that's the stat. And we are saying how in, for those nine o'clockers that never get to hear our six o'clock hour, we always say that's the tree of trust hour. Like yeah. we say things in that hour because we think everyone that knows us is still sleeping. Yep. So it's tree of trust time. Well, Eric has a good point. Maybe the 9, 25, 20-ish time, people are at work and they've kind of like gone about their day and they're only maybe listening with half of an ear. Yeah. Or like just not paying attention. So you, you can, can say stuff yeah. and it gets past. Oh, I found that out for you. Rule a swan. Study of women's health across the nation. No, it's actually SWNS. I just was calling it Swans because oh. there's no A. <laughs> I don't know what Swins <laughs> okay. is or Swins. Swins. Anyway, that's the source. Let's just see. So we asked the question 713 390 KRB. What is it, one in Whatever four? you call us right now, that's holding a secret from their partner because one in four people keep secrets from their like lead in the, partner. That's probably the number one thing stuff that people buy. Mm-hmm. They don't tell them the full price. Stop looking at me, Aaron. Rosie's yeah. up first. Uh-huh. Hi, Rosie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Well, so are you married or is a, a live-in partner for a long time? 
I'm I've been married. I'm okay. married for 23 years. So. Nice. Okay. 23 so years. You're about to reveal to us a secret that your 23 year long relationship mate does not know. What is that? That I resigned my job back in December. And so I've been leaving, like, I drop off my kids at school and I've been leaving every day like I'm going to work, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to work. What? So wait, what where's are you the doing? money, though? Where's the money? Is so it I, your... go, I go and look for work. I've gone to the work stores. I, you know, go and put applications in and, you know, drop off resumes. Wait, you're telling uh, me your husband of 23 years does not know that your second income doesn't exist anymore since December well, and we're almost March so now? my second income exists in the sense of that whenever I was getting paid, I was you know, taking some, paying myself like I was another bill just to save money. Yeah. And so I'm using, I was using that money to compensate for the paycheck that's not coming in. So every, every 15 days I would take money and put it into my account. So you had a, my paycheck was coming in. You had a slush fund. So you're, hope, yes. so you're hoping to get a job now so that he'll never know. So I start a job tomorrow. Actually. Oh, okay. Oh, oh nice. What was, so you're what was the kind of job that you resigned from in December, and what's the new kind of job? Is it the same? Education. I education. It, from, okay. it was education, and I'm starting another job in education. Okay. In the so, operations department. But like, I'm, I've worked operations, uh-huh. okay. and so I'm starting another job in operations. Why but, the Why the secret from him, though? Why couldn't you tell him? Because, I mean, it, because it would have been the, the – I'm, I'm more of the – he works – He's uh, been sick since uh, Harvey. Uh, he got a flesh, uh, you know, he got sick. So um, so now I became the like, the main breadwinner. Oh. And so it was kind of hard to tell him and not have him be worried about it. Oh, okay. But it was more of a mental health issue. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I needed my mental health was more important to me than okay. going to this job and, you know, not feeling not feeling it every day. You know, and we work with, you know, children and children should not be exposed to you being in a bad mood yeah. or just because you don't like where you're at. Right. That sounds like you're so being responsible. I so like, yeah, that's so a lot of pressure for you, though, to mm-hmm. keep that secret to yourself. Do you like do you have family that knows? Um, the only person that knows, and that's because I told them uh, last week when I landed this job, when I got the offer letter, it's my daughter, my okay. oldest daughter. Oh, okay. I have a daughter in college. How old is she? I have a daughter in college. Yeah, she's 20. So was she floored? Like, mom, whoa. Well, yeah, but she was floored because she was wondering how I'm still able to make her payments for college. Because mom's been tucking money away for years. <laughs> Here's the other question, Rosie, <laughs> just real quick. The slush Smart. fund type account that you made in, a, in an effort to cover you if you quit your job. Was that always the purpose of that account? That account was you want to get out of that job so bad you're going to start putting some of your paycheck into an anonymous account so you can fake a paycheck later? Was that always the no, purpose? No, the purpose, the purpose of that account was just, you know, you never know emergencies happen. Rainy day, yeah. Mm-hmm. I have two kids in college. Um, I do have, I still have a 10-year-old. You know, things happen. And, you know, unfortunately, we're one of those households that, I mean, we don't have a lot to spare. So it's just making it seem like I was another bill. So that money was going like if it was another bill. So I was not touching it. So That's when I needed it, I'm really like, impressive. Okay, well, I have there. a qu- quick question That's for you. Good. Super smart. Uh, what are the last two digits of your uh, husband's or husband's um, phone, phone number. number? Last two digits of his cell phone number. Just curious. Do you know offhand? Uh, 63. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, somebody called in and said, That's my wife. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is 6 2. You need to be awake right now. You're, you're, oh. He's not awake right now? Okay. Okay. When you said six, I'm like, oh, the secret was yeah. about ready to be exposed. Because <laughs> you no, are one number I, off from actually, this number. Yeah. If I'm being honest with you, uh, tonight is the day since I start this new job, I won't be able to take my kids to school anymore because mm-hmm. I'll have to be at work early and it's quite a, it's like a 40 minute drive for me. Wow. So I do have to come clean tonight because... Ooh. I do need him to start driving the kids to school in the morning. Well, can you just wow. tell him, hey, they've changed my hours? So, yes. Brian's I like, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my oh, God. You're this deep but, in. <laughs> yes, I can. But the problem is, is we only have one vehicle, right? Oh, no. So, if I ask him to take me in the morning, he's going to find out that I'm at a different location. Oh, so, well, okay. So, you know, before it starts. And so, like. And How's I take the kids then? Happen, I tapped into getting my uh, my refund for my retirement mm-hmm. so that I can buy another vehicle so that we can go ahead and just, you know, be able to cross, you know, be able to make it work. I How are you going to explain I this do. to him, though? Are you going to say, look, I didn't want to stress you out, but I changed so, yeah. careers. So I'm going to present it first with the, hey, you know what? I cashed out. Uh, this is what's going to keep us till. Because remember, I already, I already depleted my funds. So thankfully, I got a job. Mm-hmm. But I depleted my funds already, so thankfully mm-hmm. I get this job, but I will not receive a first paycheck to more than likely 30 days after, right? Oh, right. Because you only get oh, paid twice a month. Got it, got so it, got it. So I have to cash out in order to say, you know what, this is going to keep us afloat until this comes through. Gotcha, gotcha, and gotcha. So, 
So I, I have to come clean today, but I just, it just feels good to be able to say it out loud mm-hmm. rather yeah. than just keeping it. Yeah. You know, so thank you for that. No, you're uh, welcome. But, yeah, Thanks for sharing. Don't tell him that you, know, you, you told your daughter. He's going to, like, rate your secret. Do you think he's going to be more hurt that you told the whole city of Houston before you told him or your daughter before? Don't that part. <laughs> Hopefully he's not going to know I told the whole city of Houston because, like I said, he's. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to share that part. Got it. Okay, uh, smart. But, um, but, yeah, I mean, I just think it's, like, to me it was more of not worrying, not have him worry because he does, so, he, is, he is sick and blood mm. pressure. You know, he does, he does have a lot of things that he's dealing with. So it was more of that and more of like... Yeah, I think your heart's been in the right place. Yeah. Rosie, thank you so much for sharing your story. Good luck to you. Let us know how it all turns out. That's like a to be continued.